Today I'm going to show you how to make this great fun fringe called raindrop fringe. It's a crocheted fringe and it's worked all together in one piece and then you can sew this on to the end of your scarf or whatever project you're working on afterwards. And you can make it as wide or as short as you like. You can make the raindrops or the fringes as long or as short as you'd like. And I'm going to walk you through the steps to create that right now. So I'm beginning to create a fringe that's of this length. I'm beginning with a chain 30. And then I'm going to work the raindrop, the little circle, into the second chain from my hook. So remember, don't count the loop on your hook. That's the first loop, first chain from my hook. That's the second chain. And I'm going to work several stitches all into that second chain from the hook. I'm going to begin with an SC or single crochet. So insert your hook into the space, drop a loop, yarn over hook, draw through two loops. That's my single crochet. Now I'm going to work two, dub, or two half double crochets. So yarn over hook before inserting into your space, drop a loop, yarn over hook, draw through three loops. I'm going to do that again, yarn over hook, insert into the same space, drop a loop, yarn over hook, draw through three. Those are my two half double crochets. Now I'm going to work the next tallest stitch, which is a double crochet. I'm going to yarn over my hook, insert into the space, drop a loop, yarn over hook, draw through two loops, yarn over hook, draw through two loops. It's my double crochet stitch. Now I'm going to work three treble crochets. So to treble crochet, you have to yarn over the hook, twice before inserting into the stitch, drop a loop, yarn over hook, draw through two loops, yarn over hook, draw through two loops, yarn over hook, draw through two loops. I'm going to do that twice more because I need three treble crochets. Now I'm going to work that same sequence of stitches in reverse. So I've got to the tallest stitches, now I'm going to gradually make them. They're gradually going to get shorter, so I'm going to work a double crochet stitch, which is the next shortest stitch, then two half double crochets, and then one single crochet. So that's what cr has created our little circle. We've got SC stitches gradually getting taller to our treble crochet and then getting shorter again. That's made our little circle or raindrop. And so once we have that worked, now I just need to get up to the end of my chain again or the beginning of my chain, whichever way you want to look at that. And I'm just going to do that by working slip stitches into each chain all the way across. So we're not actually making a stitch, we're just inserting our hook and drawing through the yarn and pulling it through the chain and through the loop on the hook. That's a slip stitch. And that's going to take us to the end of our chain and it's also going to strengthen this tassel or fringe. I'm going to strengthen it, make it a little thicker, and I think a little more attractive too. So now I've made a slip stitch all the way to the end of my chain, and I've got my first fringe, my first raindrop completed. So for my second row and subsequent rows, I'm going to chain 32. Now, if you remember, I started with a chain 30 for my first raindrop. This is 32, it's two chains longer because there's going to be two chains in between each of the raindrops. So if you want that space to be bigger, you could chain even longer. And this is gonna create, making that two 
just two chains longer, that's gonna create a fringe that's even. If you want an uneven fringe, you can work a shorter or longer chain in between. So now I'm just gonna do the same series of stitches again in the second chain from my hook. I'm gonna work one SC, two HDCs, one DC, three treble crochets, Oh, I was making a double crochet. Run of the hook twice, that's your treble crochet. There's my three treble crochet. Now I'm gonna work one double. Two HDC, and one single crochet. That's my raindrop. So I've worked from SC, progressively getting taller, to my treble, progressively getting shorter again, back to my SC. Then I'm going to do the same thing as I did before. I'm going to make a slip stitch in every chain but this time I'm not gonna work to the end of the chain. I'm going to skip the last two chains. So when I get back up to here, I'll, I'll leave those last two chains unworked. And that's when it's gonna create the space. These are the chain twos that are unworked that creates the space in between our fringe. So that's it for raindrop fringe.